Well, this is, uh, this is my first climate week as Ontario's new uh, Minister of uh, Environment and, and Climate Change. So it's very important for me to, uh, to come and, and meet with, uh, with folks from around the world and learn uh, what they're doing, uh, what their governments are doing, what their businesses are doing, what civil society organizations are doing to, uh, to deal with climate change. Um, and specifically to, uh, I, I'm very interested in learning about uh, how we can strengthen our economies, how we can uh, look for the silver lining in, 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 in what is perhaps uh, the most uh, important issue of, uh, of our era, climate change. But there are silver linings and I'm here to, uh, to learn about those, um, job creation, uh, an improving economy. Those are two of the key things that I'm hearing from folks here and I'm getting some very good uh, examples. Uh, Ontario, uh, which is uh, a, a province of, uh, of Canada, uh, we launched our cap and trade program uh, back in January of 2017 after a number of years of discussion and research uh, and discussion with uh, not just within government but I think it's very important to note we were out talking to the public um, we're mandated by law to, uh, to talk to the public. We were talking to the public, uh, to civil society organizations, to, uh, uh, to business and to my fellow ministers to figure out the best way forward to reduce uh, the amount of carbon that's being emitted in, uh, in the province of Ontario. So we launched, uh, we, we landed on cap and trade. Uh, and we did that because we saw it was a, a great balance between um, dealing with serious environmental issues and, uh, and, and, uh, and stimulating the economy. We don't see those two things as exclusive, the economy and the environment. We see them going hand in hand. So we launched our cap and trade program. We've had three uh, auctions thus far. Um, we've netted about $1.5 billion uh, Canadian from those programs and I, I will say that that every penny of, of, uh, of money we raise through uh, our auctions has to go back into GHG greenhouse gas emissions that's the law in Ontario and I know we will have all sorts of people uh, uh, looking at us very closely to make sure that happens so we're doing all sorts of things we're, we're working for example with indigenous communities to help them move from diesel generated uh, power to clean uh, more clean electricity we have uh, the the green Ontario fund we just launched a couple of weeks ago that's a 377 million dollar investment for for homeowners for businesses big and small uh, to help them reduce their carbon footprint um, earlier uh, we launched a, a 100 million dollar fund for municipal governments uh, we want them to come forward with some very innovative things that they can do on the ground in their communities to help reduce climate change yeah well I think uh, it, it's uh, it's important to join the to be part of the under two uh, coalition because this this brings us in touch and, and pulls us together with with the leading states and regions and governments from around the world uh, and it's important that, uh, that we're able to compare notes we're able to support each other and we're able to to help spread the word to government to business about the important uh, work that we're all doing um, we uh, we linked with uh, we linked our, our cap and trade uh, system, uh, uh, or we're, 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 we will be linking our cap and trade system uh, with Quebec and uh, uh, and California to create a bigger market, uh, which is better for our businesses and better for our economy and, and a better way of uh, of helping our citizens prosper.